Hi, I'm Grace. And I'm John. Welcome to North Lake. Yes, welcome to North Lake. In order to help you meet with maximum success as a student here at North Lake, we're going to use the next 20 minutes or so to take a close look at North Lake and what it's all about. North Lake has a wide variety of student services, and you being students are entitled to take advantage of these, and we encourage you to do so. Your college experience can only be enhanced by using the various services that are available at North Lake. You know, Grace, when I think of student services here at North Lake, I can think of 15 or 20 offices that provide helpful, useful, and fun services, from career planning to student clubs. Well, why don't we take a look at some of these? We're going to have some special North Lake folks take you on a video tour of what student services is all about. Let's first look at our registration area, where Randy will show us the simple process of registration. Once you've been accepted as a student at North Lake College, you are issued a registration time permit. And this will give you the actual day and time when you are to register. And you must have this with you when you go down to the gym. You are also given a student profile form. And it looks a lot like this. In fact, this is it. And you will take this to visit a counselor. And generally during our regular registration periods, the counselors can be found in the Center for Independent Study, which is room B259. Now let's go see what they're doing. Here in the center, we can see the counselors in the process of academic advising with the students. As a new student, you will discuss your own particular educational needs with one of North Lake's counselors. In some cases, a counselor will ask that you take a placement test in our testing center so that appropriate placement based on the levels of your particular skills can be made. If you are not asked to take a placement test, the counseling center will sign your student profile form. But if you should take a placement test, the testing center will stamp your form like this. We asked Linda Edwards, one of North Lake's counselors, what is one of the most frequently asked questions during academic advising with new North Lake students? Practically every new student needs help in reading some part of the class schedule. For example, the day classes are listed first under each subject area and have a white background. The evening classes have a gray background. Each subject area is in bold print and the division name can be found directly under the subject. The number to the right of the subject area plus the three numbers of the class make up the sequence number. The classes sectioned off in boxes feature individualized instruction. These classes are called self-paced because attendance at the regular class time is required for orientation. After that, instruction is self-paced with instructor assistance available at the scheduled class time. A very common question concerns the R listed under the class day. R stands for Thursday. TV courses can be found by looking for a symbol which has a small star in a lined box. This symbol will always be found before the title of the class. The letters TBA stand for to be announced. The information on room perhaps was not available at the time the schedule was printed. However, you can contact the division office for this information. The last thing to remember is that credit classes are in the first half of the class schedule, and non-credit classes are in the last half of the schedule. There are always counselors, instructors, and other students available who are familiar with the schedule. Feel free to ask any one of them if you have a question. Now, if you haven't quite yet got the hang of reading the schedule, or if you need some additional advice about various classes, down here there are always plenty of counselors and instructors to help you, a new student in need. As you enter the gym, you may wish to check your schedule against our listing here on the left of the gym of closed, canceled, or newly added classes. Now, sometimes a class is closed, and that means it's filled with a maximum number of students. Sometimes it's canceled for whatever reason, and sometimes we have newly added classes. Now, once you've checked your schedule against our listing, you're ready to get your labels. Each course requires one label. You will find a label for each course here at the table for the active division that offers the particular course. For example, if you are interested in taking Math 101, you should proceed to the table for the academic division that houses the math courses, which is in this case, the math technology table. Once you have attained all of your course labels and checked them against your handwritten schedule on your student profile form for accuracy, you will then proceed to the computer terminals, and here you will surrender your labels and receive a fee statement in return. 
after your check, MasterCard, or Visa has been approved for payment, you will pay the tuition at the business office station located near the exit of the gym. In the event that you've been awarded financial aid, you will pick up your money at the financial aid table before you proceed to the business office station. So that's the process of registration. Thank you, Randy. Now let's look at some of the offices that can serve as academic resources for you. Sarah is going to show us a little bit more about the admissions office, and then she's going to walk us through the Center for Independent Study, the library, and the testing center. Whether you're in need of assistance with classwork or information about for example, finals or dropping a course, you can find the appropriate resources on campus to help you. The admissions office is the place to go to purchase a college transcript, drop a course, file a degree plan, register for flex entry courses, or apply for graduation. You can also get general information here, information about changing a course, taking a TV tele course, weekend and week long fast track courses, or the last day to drop a course with a W. Another good place to go on campus for academic support is the Center for Independent Study. Here we find just a wealth of study aids. The center offers assistance in reading and writing skills, study skills such as note taking, test taking, overcoming test anxiety, and lots more. When you come to the center, you will find a variety of instructional methods, computer assisted instruction, tape based instruction, but most importantly, individual instruction by a friendly staff who are eager to help you do better in school and to meet your personal goals. It probably won't take you too long to find the college library. With the windows facing our lake, it is neatly tucked away on the bottom floor of the H building across from the cafeteria. Although the library is a tremendous resource for books, providing access to the 350,000 books within the entire college district library system. It also maintains up-to-date periodicals, a records collection, group study rooms, audio and visual tapes, typewriters, and a tape copying service. Not to mention, this is also where you pick up your student ID during the first week of classes for the semester. Last but not least of our academic resources is the testing center. Many of you have probably already been introduced to the testing center. If you took your college assessment exam upon admissions to the college, this is where you took it. But if you haven't visited this center yet, chances are that you will sometime within the first few weeks of school. It is commonly known for being the place where students occasionally take tests for their different classes. Most North Lake instructors periodically administer class exams in the testing center. The beauty of this is that the students are allowed the freedom to choose when to take the tests anytime within a given time period. And for those of you interested in trying to place out of a course, otherwise known as credit by examination, one of the most popular forms of which is the CLEP test, the testing center is the place to do this. Well, that's a brief introduction to the various academic resources here on campus that are available to you. Now let's go back to the studio. That was real helpful, Sarah. Thanks for the information. Now let's take a look at some of these support services such as the Counseling Center, the Women's Center, the Special Needs Office, and Financial Aid. Let's go to Renee for this. Most of you will find, from one time or another, that you could benefit from the many services our Counseling Center offers. For example, it is here where you come for academic advising when you are selecting classes for your semester course schedule. The counselors are well trained in knowing which classes are required for the respective degree plans. They are also very familiar with the various degree curriculums found at most four-year institutions found in Texas as well as many located elsewhere. So, if you are like a lot of students who plan to complete your first two years of college at North Lake and then transfer to a four-year college or university, the counselors can be a tremendous resource for you. They can help you select courses that will transfer and more importantly, apply to that bachelor's degree you want. For your convenience, a career center is housed within the counseling center. Here students can use computerized programs which will assist them in exploring careers that interest them and provide the names of schools that offer academic programs in those careers. Most of you at one time or another 
are going to have to interview for a job, write a resume, or design a job hunting strategy. If you need help with this, you'll find it in the Career Center. And for students who are interested, several career interest surveys are available. A career resource library with books, brochures, and catalogs describing various occupations is also available for browsing. And for the student in need of assistance in finding a job in his chosen career field, or simply a part-time job while attending college, a job placement center is located next door to the counseling center. The center maintains a job notice board and an up-to-date computer listing of jobs throughout the Dallas area. Most of the same services available through the Counseling Center are also offered for women only through the Women's Center. The center was principally designed to meet the needs of women making the transition from homemaker to college student. The center offers a number of services for women, including women's support groups, and lunchtime seminars which address a number of topics ranging from entry into the world of work to coping with stress to divorce to single parent families. As if it isn't enough just having to adjust to college life, juggle five different classes in five different buildings, some students must learn the ropes of getting around on campus in a wheelchair or cope with a hearing defect. Probably the single greatest barrier to a college education is lack of money. If this is a problem for you now, or it becomes a problem, contact the financial aid office on campus. They might be able to help with a loan, grant, scholarship, or work on campus. And by the way, veterans have their own special office on campus. It's housed within the financial aid office. Well, that's it from here. Now back to the studio. Now we're going to spend a few minutes learning about some of our most essential areas on campus. Nature's going to spend some time with us and fill us in on the business office, the bookstore, the health center, and security. You're probably not going to have many reasons to visit the business office, but there will be a few occasions when you'll need to know what this office can do for you. Most financial transactions of any kind between you and the college are conducted here. Most students know it as a place where they pay both parking tickets and registration fees during mid-semester registration periods. The business office is located upstairs between the admissions and counseling center. You're going to find the bookstore almost immediately out of necessity. It is here where you will buy the textbooks for your classes. However, you can also purchase other school supplies here. Paperback books for leisurely reading, snacks for a munchie fix, and countless other items. There may come a time when you have a headache and you want an aspirin, or you accidentally cut yourself and you need a band-aid. There is a place on campus that can provide you with these items, the Health Center. More importantly, however, the Health Center advocates a philosophy of preventive health care. Among the many free services the Center offers are Screening for vision, hearing, blood pressure, TB, diabetes, height, weight, and anemia. Free classes on CPR and first aid, and literature on numerous popular health issues. Drop by the health center sometime and check out what they have to offer. There are a few men and women on campus who you really ought to know. These are the campus police officers. They are a terrific bunch of people. I think you will find them very helpful if you ever have reason to need them. Their office is located upstairs in the K building. The security office also serves as the campus lost and found. Additionally, you'll need to go to the security office sometime soon to pick up your free parking sticker so that you may park in one of the college parking areas. I'd like to mention in passing, before we close this segment, that we have a pretty good eatery cafeteria here on campus. We call it the Campus Lakeside Restaurant because it is located right next to the lake and across from the library. If you're in a big hurry, there are vending machines also located in this area. I don't know about you, but this segment got me pretty hungry. Now, back to you. 
Thanks, Dietrich. That was helpful. Now it's time to have some fun. What type of fun? Clubs, sports, recreational facilities. Well, let's have Brent tell us about it. And now it's time for the fun. There are a number of ways to get involved in campus life. Meet other students, participate in school activities, and team sports, and basically have a lot of fun. We have concerts for you to enjoy, clubs to join, speakers to hear, and theatrical performances to attend. There are also parties where you can dance and sports activities become involved in, all at North Lake College. There's a club organization on campus for just about everyone. We have an art club, a speech club, a video club, a geology club, a drama club, and a jazz club. We have a club for students who are interested in helping with marketing activities for the school and in having fun as well. We have an honor society and a home builder society. The list goes on and on. There's truly something for everyone. If you're interested in finding out more about these many opportunities, contact the Student Programs and Resource Office. They can give you a lot more information. This might also be a good time to mention our outstanding recreational facilities and opportunities. We have a 50 meter swimming pool, a weight room, a jogging trail, and tennis courts, all for your enjoyment. We also have an intramural program. Intramural sports are informal, on-campus sport activities, such as volleyball, basketball, in which any student may participate. That's many of the fun things you can participate in while attending North Lake College. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Brent. That was interesting. Yes, it was, Grace. And all the information presented in this video can be found in the student handbook. Now, this is a great source of information. Everything from how to drop a class, the student holidays, to final exam dates. And anything you can't find in the student handbook, don't be afraid to ask the people here at North Lake. That's what they're here for, and they'll be glad to help. We're glad you're here at North Lake, and we're confident you'll find your educational experience a fulfilling one. We'll see you around. <laughs>